Okay, guys, today we have a review of the Lenovo ThinkPad T61. And we're going to start off by showing the ports on the sides and the back. So, starting with the left side, we have your hard drive bay, caddy, whatever. And over here, you have the Lenovo Ultra Bay. And you can either have a battery in there, you can, uh, or a second hard drive, or this DVD ROM. Pops out like that. You push it in and push that in and it locks in there. Then you have a USB 2.0 port right there. Moving up to the front, you have a headphone and microphone jack and that controls your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth over there. And that is a mini firewire over there on the side. And on this side, you have a smart badge le reader and a laptop mini PCIe slot, two USB 2.0 ports, um, phone modem port, um, gigabit ethernet port, and then you have the VGA and the CPU um, heatsink vent. Then on the back you have a vent over here for the CPU and you have a power um, power plug and a Kensington lock on that side. Okay. Now let's take a look at the inside. Okay. So um, starting off with the keyboard, the keyboard spill resistant. That's the famous ThinkPad keyboard. No flex in it anywhere. No matter how hard you press, you can't see any flex on the keyboard. And it just feels good to type on. It has a track point over there. And that's basically it. And up here you have the power button, the take vantage button, the volume controls. Then over here you have one of the T61. Then you have your lights there, power, sleep, um, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, stuff like that. And you have the two speakers on the side. Intel Centrino Pro Dual Core 2.2 GHz processor. And it has um, NVIDIA Quadro NVS 140M graphics cards with 256 megabyte memory and 4 gigabytes of RAM. And that's your touchpad down there. And this is a 14.1 inch display up here. And that's the lock. And let's move to the back. Okay, over here you'll find your battery, just push it once, you push it in to lock it, this is idle, you push it for that, and that's the battery, I think it's a 9 cell probably, or maybe 6, I'm not sure, battery, and then they have different sizes, and you just pop it in like that. Uh, and then you lock it in. Over there is my Windows Vista sticker. That's for the docking station port thing. And back here, you can't access anything from back here. If you want to access the RAM memory, graphics cards, whatever, you um, you unscrew it, unscrew these screws. These are for the palm rest, and these are for the keyboards. Once you unscrew them, you flip it over, open it up. And then this is the palm rest. It just pops out once you unscrew it. And then the keyboard pops out, and this also pops out in case you need to change the graphics cards or the CPU fan, whatever. And then, um, currently, I don't have any operating system installed on it because I have a 120 gigabyte, 5,400 RPM hard drive in it. I'm waiting for my SSD to arrive tomorrow or maybe Monday. So, um, I'm just gonna, it doesn't have any windows, I'm just gonna turn it on to show you the boot menu and stuff. This is the BIOS, and um, let's see. Um, two point two gigahertz, four gigabytes of RAM. Core to do T seventy five hundred, and um, that's basically it. So let's exit. And it doesn't have any operating systems or anything to boot from, so that comes up. Then you press and turn it off. Okay, now it's off. And it's very well built. It's pretty sturdy. I can lift it up with one hand without any flex. And the hinges are super tight. You have to use two hands to pull it up. Because they're really tight. Here, no flex in it. Ugh, I can't even hold it. 
And I saw other videos on YouTube that said the keyboard flexes. There's no way this thing flexes, okay? And someone else said on YouTube that this part is a bit flexible. Well, the buttons are pretty good, or after a while you can even replace them. But, see? Yeah. So, there's no flex here. Maybe a little bit of flex, but not nothing like the guy said. He said there's a lot of flex here, but no, not really. And then, he also said the hinges get loose, but here. You see a little bit of it moving, but not really. No loose hinges. So, um, please subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to do another review on the Ultra Bay battery, Ultra Bay hard drive, and the SSD, and how to install the SSD. And also check out our review on the ThinkPad docking station here.